What is the philosophy of Ramadan? Allah Ta'ala has given us this month as an excuse to forgive us. As an excuse to forgive us. This is nothing but an excuse to forgive you. Do something and Allah Ta'ala will forgive you. Allahu Akbar Kabir. Like we do something and Allah Ta'ala will forgive us. This is all what Ramadan is all about. This is the wasila of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was told what? وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيقَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى Allah Ta'ala will give you so much, so much ata that you will be pleased. Adam Alayhi Salaam, he was also given a ni'mah. Since shaitan has been given strength, Adam Alayhi Salaam is giving a ni'mah. What is the ni'mah? It is the same ni'mah that he utilized himself. رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِن لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونُنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ That if any one of my awlad, they turn to you with nidama, with embarrassment, with humility, humbleness, Allah Ta'ala will forgive all of their sins. SubhanAllah. This is one thing that shaitan stops us from doing. Is to do tawbah, is to change our ways. Look, look at us. I mean, we have been living the same Ramadan year after year after year. And shaitan not only opposes us, before Ramadan, he will cause us to sin. He will do, you know, cause us to fall into some kind of despair, heedlessness, ghafla, something. So we waste away our Ramadan. And because we know that he's chained in Ramadan, he waits it out. And as soon as Ramadan is over, he gets back with so much force. With so much forth, force that he's like, oh my God, this person worked hard in Ramadan. Now I want to make sure that this person falls in some sin and he turns away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The shaitan, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has this zati, personal enmity with shaitan. And when you have personal enmity with someone, you cannot bear, you do not bear that person. And why does Allah Ta'ala have personal enmity towards shaitan? Because he's a traitor. And he did takabur in front of the mutakabbir. 